Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas. I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Jonas, you're the man on the sticks. Yeah, dude, I have some sticks. Oh, and it's Madden 21. You didn't know it was. You thought it wasn't. It is. Yeah, you thought this was the guys on the friend zone town, and now yeah. it's just the men in the crazy town. Yeah, it's different men than you thought it was going to be. Yeah, because you come to our channel to hear other people. Yeah, you were expect <laughs> you were expecting uh, Daryl Strawberry, Bush. Daryl Strawberry, and Barbara Bush. <laughs> were you expecting them? Nope. Are they? I think they're both dead. Barbara Bush. I think Barbara Bush is, is has deceased. Oh yeah, she would be older. Than yeah, that was George Bu George W's mom. And is Daryl Strawberry? Is I, he? I, he was like very much hooked on drugs and stuff, so I don't know if he's dead. <laughs> Um, I mean, back in the 80s and stuff, he was all hooked on drugs, well, so I don't know if he's perished. Everybody was, though. I don't know, but I used to love Daryl Strawberry when I was a really? kid just because his name had Strawberry in it. Uh, it is a killer last name, I'll give you that. <laughs> Hello, uh, Mr. Strawberry. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I would hate to be called Mr. Strawberry. <laughs> I we'll call you that. Mrs. Strawberry. No, I don't want to be called Mrs. Anything. <laughs> Mrs. Dynamite. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. I guess if I was going to be named after fruit, that's the fruit I would probably go with. So. I'd, like no. to be, I'd like to be Mr. Kiwi. That's, that's actually pretty good. I like that one. And then some your girlfriend can pronounce it Kawaii. Ooh. Kawaii. She can call me Leonard for short as a nickname, dude. And Leonard be like a Kiwi. pseudo, like a pseudo, like you gotta know. If you don't know, now you know, you know, sort of know. I don't, I don't, I don't even know. Exactly. I don't even get what you mean by that. But I'm sure that it it, it, it means a lot to you. It, in my <laughs> <laughs> so that's what's important. In my heart, it means a lot to me. <laughs> it's like a boys to men ballad. I guess Plum is a pretty good last name. Ooh, Professor Plum, like in Clue. Yeah, yeah, I'd but, like the guys blocked on this team. But what if you're not in? What if you're like waste management plum? Like oh, you're not a you're not a professor. Just, oh God, yeah, dude. What if you're like janitor plum? Janitor plum? <laughs> plumber plum? Plumber no, that, plum? It's <laughs> pretty good. Plum the plumber. Plum the plumber, dude. Oh, dude. Uh, Mr. Great. Your whole life is a meme. <laughs> Apple's last name, Mr. Apple. Oh yeah, Tim Apple. <laughs> yes. What's his name, Tim Apple? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> let's see. What else would be a good fruit? Last Bananas are absolutely horrible. Mr. Banana. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> like I would. You have to be a clown. <laughs> Mr. Banana. It's Banana the Clown, kids. Hey, kids, put on your masks. <laughs> <laughs> I was doing the Halloween 3 thing, but I guess now it's, uh, it's, 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 it's relevant to COVID. Yeah, so. I'm going to let you preach it again. I'm going to let you preach from now on. I'm just going to let you do it. Are you going to enable me? No, why not, dude? Let you do it. No, I was uh, doing these. I don't want to hold you back. Dude, they should play Halloween 3 for children. Halloween 3? I've never even seen Halloween That's 1. the one that doesn't have Michael Myers where they're like... Where the kids turn into like worm heads when they put on their Halloween masks. What? Is this a real thing? It's, it unfortunately is absolutely. How like, could you have they, a Halloween movie without Michael Myers? Okay, because here I'll tell you the little I'll tell you the little dilly on it. Mm -hmm. Um, so they were going to end like Halloween was going to be just Halloween one and two with Michael Myers, mm -hmm. and then they were like they had the great idea like I don't know what just happened there. Um, that they were like, oh, you know what we'll do. We'll just keep the Halloween a franchise, and we'll have different Halloween themed uh, things. American Horror Story. Kind of, yeah. And then, so then the third one, it was like about like these like I don't even know exactly what was happening, but it was like the there was like these commercials on TV that and like the kids would put on their masks and they would turn into like they would die or something. I, it was weird. <laughs> They, they would, would like die. they would get like worm heads and stuff, dude. It was right, cool. oh my god, slippery mitts Johnson. Slippery mitts. Um, no. Yeah, and it was trash, and nobody liked it. No, I play Monster Hunter Jones. Wiggler heads make a lot of sense to me, but I don't want a wiggler head. Yeah, and then so uh, so yeah. After the kids put on all their masks, that happened, and then they were like, oh, maybe we should just bring back 
uh, Michael Myers because he is what people want to watch in this. Yeah, how you, you did, the first two movies had Michael Myers in it, right? Yeah. And then they just changed it. Yeah, that. Yeah, dude, they yeah. just wanted to like okay. mix it up, dude. They wanted to make sure that like if you didn't like Michael Myers, you could like the more masks. I mean, they could have still kept the branding. I'm sorry, I'm like going back to like 1987 to discuss how they effed this movie rollout. Yeah, yeah. They yeah. could have like went kept the same branding, but just like called it something a little different, like Halloween Tales from Halloween or something like that. And I think that's what they're that's what they were planning on yeah. doing. It just went bad because you know, movies and horror movies in the 80s were bad. Even mm. Halloween is a bad movie. Yeah, it, you know what I mean. Like, but it just—it's like cult classic sort of thing. Like all those old Nightmare on Elm Street movies; those aren't quality films. No, but they're just like cult classics. They, you know, they're just—I mean, for the technology they had, they definitely were still spending like millions of dollars on these movies to get them done, and they made millions off of them to the point where like Freddy Krueger, Jason, Mike Myers—they're like still known to this day. Oh yeah, exactly. I mean, they're like they're like a. They're, they are as, like, like Mario Brothers. Like, you know what I mean? Like, not yeah. as successful, but, like, they came out in the 80s, and people still talk about Freddy Krueger today. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's, no one talks about Pumpkinhead today. Nobody talks, you know, like, nobody talks about the guy from Phantasm today. Pumpkin, oh, the dude in Pinhead has fallen out of favor. Yeah, even, even, even Pinhead is, like, yeah, isn't quite as popular. But Jason, Freddy, and Michael Myers, man, those three. Yeah. Leatherface is kind of in there, but. Oh, yeah, he's, he's pretty big still too yeah like i mean they put freddy and jason in like mortal kombat games did yeah. they put jason no they put freddy for sure yeah they put freddy and i think yeah i think they did put jason in it's either jason or mike well I think leatherface was in one of them too yeah well they have a le- leatherface ancillary for like uh, dead by daylight they have a freddy cougars in oh, dead yeah, by that's daylight what, yeah. so, I mean, mike myers is in dead by daylight so they're still used is, i'm just saying like yeah they, they're definitely still relevant yeah yeah which is crazy <clears throat> You think about just some random like horror movie from the eighties, like the movie Ghoulies. Th- uh, those those characters aren't critters; they aren't running around. <laughs> those see, were, and they were all terrible eighties movies. Yeah. Oh, that was like the Tales from the Crypt days. Jones, you just draw a pick. I the I'm the, ha- the guys on my team are literally just like moving the wrong direction. Oh, like man. the one run play, the guy was running. He was running with me to block, and then just like turned and ran the other direction. That time, the guy just was looking at the ball and just watched it. Go oh, so you you hand. didn't throw a pick. He he neglected to catch it. Is what you're saying? There was a man there, and he just didn't even attempt to catch it. But okay. yeah, sure, I threw it. It's my fault. <laughs> and there, and there, my guy just ran into me. <laughs> I'm just having issues, dude. Today, today is a day of issues for me. It's, it's fine. I re- I remember these days we're talking about with like ancient horror movies. Uh, like, did you ever watch Tale for the Crypt with the Crypt Keeper? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, I used to watch a show on HBO and stuff when I was younger. So, so Tales from the Crypt was like when when did it, when would you say that was out? Like the nineties? It had uh, to be. It was on probably in the late eighties. Late eighties, early nineties. Uh, it was essentially Black Mirror, but it was like old Black Mirror. And the Crypt Keeper was like a decomposed corpse and <laughs> who would just pop out of a casket and tell some, he'd be like, yeah. <laughs> he'd tell some corny puns and some like little one-liners and then he'd he was the host of the show, and he'd yeah. send you to a short film. He would definitely say uh, very cheesy stuff. Oh, dude, it was always the corniest. It was. Crap. It was like che- it was like Uber Dad joke. Yeah, yeah. It really was because he would just be like, "It sounds like things got too hot for her," <laughs> you know, and it's like. <laughs> <laughs> Eating food like that will really stick to your ribs. Right, like, what are yeah, you like those about? kind of things. Like, <laughs> be careful what you ask for. You might <laughs> fly too close to the sun. <laughs> I don't even know what the hell I'm talking about, but, you get, but it makes sense in that, like, in that sort of scenario. <laughs> and Bob's your uncle. Um, yeah, but that was, I mean, I actually used to watch that show. It never really scared me, though. No, it didn't. It, didn't. it was cheesy. Yeah, that that one. They had two movies. One, the Bordello of Blood was really bad, but uh, that Demon Knight movie actually was pretty good. Demon. I mean, Knight. it was cheesy. It was one of their. Um, Demon Knight. Yeah, it was Tales from the Crypt. Demon Knight. And then oh. Tales from the Crypt. Uh, Bordello of Blood. Okay, when they had the movie, because the like Tales from the Crypt was just like a TV show. It was an hour long, I think, and like three short stories. Uh, yeah, or I think. It, then they had like yeah, then they had the two movies that were full. Yeah. Because Demon Knight was the one where like that guy shows up at. 
this mysterious stranger shows up at like the hotel and then like all the demons come and they have to put the blood around the windowsill the around the window to seal it and they're all inside you never saw that i do not remember this whatsoever. it was pretty good had billy zane and uh he was like the guy who came from bordello blood at dennis miller so that tells you how good it was and like these names sound familiar and then like i can't put a face billy zane that. was the bad guy in titanic nope um that's probably the biggest role he ever had not the bad guy, but he was like the love interest husband or whatever. He was not Leonardo DiCaprio. He was not. <laughs> he, right. he did not act then, as Leonardo DiCaprio. Then I don't know who he is. And uh, let's see here. Dennis Miller, he just had, he had a show. Didn't Dennis he a comedian? Miller. Yeah. Okay. Dennis Miller was a comedian, yeah. All right, I know. So Dennis that movie Miller. was trash. It was just like about a brothel. I think they were vampires or something. You know, the same effing story that everybody yeah. does. Anytime we can cook blood and girls in skimpy clothing, we'll we'll take mm-hmm. that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so out of the big three, Jones, who who do you think is your favorite? Freddy Krueger. Really? A thousand percent. He was always my favorite. Wow. Um, and I just I think Over that is Mikey. because I think Michael Myers is boring. I mean, he is, but he's kind of he's kind of effed up. And I think Jason's kind of boring too. What At least about, Freddy, like, he has quips. He, like, invades oh, your dreams. Yeah. They are. Like, that is the big three, isn't it? Yeah. See, when I said the big three, I mean, I, I included Leatherface. Oh, gotcha. I, well, I like that. You know what I like about Freddy, honestly? He's, like, psychological because, like, he gets you when you sleep and you always have to sleep. Yeah. You can't not sleep. Yeah, that's that's pretty effed up. Because you like, can just fall asleep and then wake up dead. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, wake up dead. <laughs> and then, like, Mike Myers, he's just, like... He's just like he's like the cat that just follows you around, but he tries to kill you. Like, Mike Myers. Yeah, like you turn around, like oh, there's Mike Myers again. And then like Jason, yeah. he just takes advantage of your sins because like if you're having premarital sex or doing drugs in the woods, that's when he shows up. Is that what Jason is about? Is like I, sin control? I, I think subliminally, yes. Because I know it's like whenever two like. Uh, Teenagers, obviously of age and consenting, would have sexual intercourse. Jason would kill them. Right? Yeah, or if they were like drinking and smoking weed. In the oh woods and stuff, yeah, you can't do that. Yeah, anyone who was doing any sort of like sinning, he was always like, <laughs> "Hey, that's not cool." I have this machete. I didn't realize he was sin control. Yeah, dude, he's actually like a really good guy. He's just trying to police the woods. In, yeah, in good the, for in him. The most he's brutal way he knows how. Yeah, he's doing the Lord's work. Yeah, dude. He's so like, I, I actually prefer Leatherface to the big three, I guess. I think oh, Leatherface okay. is probably like watching Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I've seen that movie like probably like 50 times in the my original? life. The original? Yes. Okay. The I original, really like, like that movie. I watched the original maybe like six or seven years ago, and I was surprised how well it held up over it, time. That's what I'm saying, man. And it's like legitimately scary. It's just about like. Just a crazy family who lives on a farm, and they keep this dude in the basement, and he has, like, a human face sewed onto his face, and he just comes at you with a chainsaw. There's nothing boring about him. So I, when I say Big Three, I actually included him. I didn't think of Jason, honestly, but, yeah, you're right. Jason is definitely Yeah, Big Jason three. and Freddy, I would say, are the top two. They're the two most popular. Freddy and J- Yeah, I guess so. And Freddy Krueger is definitely a very close second, but... Yeah, then I think I think it goes. I think Freddie and Jason are top are top tier in popularity, Damn, yeah. and then the next level is like Mike Myers and Leatherface, and maybe even uh, Pinhead falls in there. Uh-oh. And then after that, everybody else falls off. <sighs> those, those those are the top five slasher guys. Maybe, yeah. Like the guy uh, the guy from Saw had come up, but he came out way too late Jigsaw. in the game to to be in the in in the thing. Yeah, Jigsaw. Like, yeah. I'm good on Jigsaw. Like he, he doesn't even scare like, me. Come into existence until like 2000 or whatever, you know. So yeah. it's like he doesn't even scare me. It's funny that you you mention about how you think uh, Mike Myers is boring because like uh, the way that he's even played in Dead by Daylight is like you have to like peek out and you have to like stalk the enemy before you can actually attack them. Oh, really? Yeah, so you, like, well, you can attack him, but you just kind of have to, like, look at him, just, like, keep him in your field of vision, and he just kind of looks at you for a while. Yeah, he just, like, he, t- he just tilts his head to the side. And, and it, like, fills up a meter, and then the longer he looks at you, if he looks at you for a long enough time, then he can come and attack you. It's just, like, That's so really he's, weird. Yeah, I know. It is really weird. But, uh, yeah, Mike Myers is definitely boring. I guess you're right. 
I mean, his story's kind of effed up. I don't, I don't remember yeah, exactly. Yeah, oh yeah, I'm not, I'm not like, saying he doesn't have a tragic like upbringing. He, like his mother, mother passed away or something. He has like her decomposed, decomposed corpse, like in a I think cave. That's, I think that's from Psycho. No, 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 no. Because I watched the. Uh, what is it? Not Nightmare on Elm Street. But there was a game that came out with Mike Myers. I don't remember that. Yeah, no. Like um, an actual Halloween game? Uh, yeah, and it was like uh, what can I? It was kind of. It was basically Dead by Daylight. It was like a Dead by Daylight clone. You had to like. They had a Friday the Thirteenth game. Is that the one? Yeah, hit, Who Jason that? had his mother. Jason had because the mother. first ho- the first Friday the Thirteenth was about Jason's mom. You're right. It is Jason. Okay, and yeah. he's kind of boring too. Let's see, I, and that's the thing is that I get these two guys mixed up, and I don't understand how they're the top two. <laughs> they're not the top two. Freddy's up there with Jason. Yeah, or how they're even in the top three if they're so interchangeable. Yeah, dude. That's Jason wore the hockey mask, right? Jason wore the hockey mask. Yes. Look at this business. And he he had a machete. Yes. Michael Myers had a knife. He had, like, the same knife that I cut chicken with. <laughs> in the kitchen. <laughs> Just, like, the same knife that you had, that really nice knife that you bought that you use when you cut. It's like, that's the knife Mike Myers has. Just like a chef knife. He's like, ree, ree, yeah. ah. He just hang, hangs out with that's it. That's a dude. scary knife, dude. I, well, yeah, dude. If anyone was coming at me with that knife, I would be afraid. I have to say, like, in the kitchen, that's probably, like, the scariest knife. Yeah, I'd say that's probably, probably close. I don't like scary knives. I don't. I mean, I don't like when when you s- are standing outside with that knife in front of my bedroom door, dude. That's scary. <sighs> well, I don't know how you knew I was doing that, to be honest. Uh. <laughs> were you like peeking through the pee peephole? Yeah, dude, you know I peek through the peephole. You peep through the pee the peephole. I, pe- I peep the peephole. <laughs> peephole, the peephole, Jonas, it's not the peephole. That's disgusting. <laughs> not the peephole. That's <clears throat> gross. Uh, so you ever kill anybody? Nope. No? You sure? <laughs> no, 100%, dude. I mean, you don't want to confess right here on YouTube? That's one thing that I know for sure. Dude, did you hear? I, I don't, you probably have not, but maybe you did because it's, it's such an outlandish sort of story. Maybe. Um, you know, like, uh, well, the rockers like Marty Jannetty and Shawn Michaels. The wrestlers. <laughs> oh, sure. <laughs> like, uh, Marty Jannetty has turned into like a giant, like, crackhead. <laughs> And, and he's had, like, what? many issues, like, online where he'll go on Facebook or something and do these rants, right? Well, he went on Facebook this one day and did a rant about how he, when he was, like, 14, he worked at a bar and some guy came there and tried to sell him drugs and tried to molest him. And he killed him and murdered him and put him in a river. What the fudge, Jonas? And, like, and just left it. Like, to the point where, like, the FBI reached out to him about this case, because, you know, because he's like, you literally just basically admitted to killing someone, whether in self-defense or not. And then it, like, and then I think he, like, um, he, like, downplayed it or whatever and was like, oh, it was just a whole big stunt or whatever. To, like, it was like a playing an angle or something no. stupid. Well, then he went on to another, then, like, a little bit times, and then just recently he went on, like, a podcast or something and then started talking about how he was lying about all of that. And then that really did happen, and he lied to get the cops off his back or whatever. So, like, he is just a, and he's done stuff, like, where he's posted about, like, his old stepdaughter and how hot she is. and, what? and Like, on. he's done a bunch of, like, <laughs> crazy ish dude like yeah basically like admitting to murdering what a guy the hell man. yeah dude he's like but in like he'll have videos of himself talking he just looks like a crazed messed up like country folk now oh and man I, how far the ma- mighty have how fallen. the mighty have fallen yeah dude, dude you he was name rocking and a roll and strutting and strolling and now he's murdering you people. you have to name this episode marty janetti now because <laughs> <laughs> it had nothing to do with about him i'll just name it janetti that's it <laughs> the entire time i didn't news. even know the game was over so that is all the time we have today's episode please make sure to like and subscribe if you've done that he does twitch stuff tnt dynamite i'm on twitch at tnt d-i-n-o-m-i-g-h-t underscore crazy town at twitch.tv for jonas tnt uh we'll catch you on the next one we all right oh the- <laughs>